Well, hello, hearing group friends and family. So we are back here at our more office with Miss Tracy, and she is going to give us a quick review on the Resound 3D Smart 3D app. Smart 3D app. There we go. <laughs> so we'll let you have at it, Tracy. All right, perfect. So we are going to review this app real quick. I'm just going to do a quick review of it. These are the things I show my clients when I'm doing their uh, delivery appointments. So just a quick review of the basic things in the, hearing, in the app that they're gonna be able to use. So down here at the bottom, you're gonna see the actual menu screen where you have your home page, status, my resound, and then a more screen. So we're just gonna start off when you open that app up, it's gonna be in your home screen. And so the first thing you're gonna see is it's gonna say all around, right there in the middle, that is your universal program that you're gonna be in most of the time when you're wearing your hearing devices. This is the program that I make sure is your comfortable volume and everything sounds good there. You do have your volume control here. You can see the slider bar. So we're gonna typically, I set six. I use that six as your normal volume, and then you can make the hearing aids louder or softer. You can see the number changing as I scroll that along. You can split the hearing aids between your left and right ear if you want to control them individually, or you can hit that bar again. It's going to put them back together. Um, typically, I do tell my clients to program them together if they have symmetrical hearing loss. We want to control those as a pair. There's also a mute button here on the side, that little picture of a microphone. When you press that, it's gonna mute the hearing devices and that unmutes them when the, you can see that screen light back up. So basic volume control there. Here, we talked about the all around, that's our everyday program. There are two little quick buttons in here that you are able to use. If you are somewhere and you're getting a little bit too much noise in the background, you can touch that noise filter and it's gonna do a little bit of noise suppression a little more aggressively than you're without it on. And then a speech clarity is going to give you a little bump of speech if someone has a mask on this is a great time to use that or if someone's soft-spoken and you're just not quite picking that speech up hit that speech clarity it's going to give that a little bump so you can hear better so that's your all-around program here at the top there's two ways to change programs i typically put four programs in the hearing device for everyone if i hit the next button next to that's your all-around here is going to be your hear and noise program. So that's going to be places like busy restaurants, possibly church, anywhere there's a lot of background noise and you're having issues hearing. You can go in that hear and noise program. That's going to give you some noise suppression and voice enhancement in this program. It does still have an additional noise filter and the speech clarity button if you need additional help. The next program over is has a little picture of trees. That is your outdoor program. That is if you're sitting outside with your spouse and having a cup of coffee, it is windy outside, that is gonna help block that wind noise blowing in the hearing device, but still giving you the speech quality where you can still have a conversation outside. It also has the noise filter and the speech clarity button in addition if you need extra help there. The last one we put on there is a music program. Um, we want to hear music as naturally as possible. So the music program is going to adjust to you listening to music. And this, does, this is not your streaming music. That's going to be done separately. This is if you're listening to music outside of your cell phone. And there is a, you can boost your bass or you can boost your treble in there if you want additional sound in the music program. So you can either touch the top to change programs or you can actually scroll with your finger to change the programs over. Okay, so that's your program changes. So we addressed programs, your volume control, and the mute button. The last thing on this page is something called the sound equalizer. The sound equalizer actually gives you control of, I think of it like an old stereo system. You have your bass, mids, and treble. So you can go in there and adjust that according. It's changing live in your hearing aids, so you're actually hearing that adjust. So you can go in there manually and make some adjustments if you'd like to. If not, of course, again, I set your default to everything at zero when I did your programming for you at your first fit. Um, you do have a noise reduction piece there as well, so you can turn that less if you want to hear more, more background noise, or turn it higher if you want to decrease background noise. 
Your last control in this one is gonna be your wind control. You do have control of that as well. So if you're gonna be outside, you can turn that wind control more aggressive so it does a better job blocking the wind going through your microphones. We're gonna close that one out. So that is everything on your home screen. I'm gonna scroll over to the next menu item, which is called status. This is gonna give you a reading for your hearing aid battery. So you can see we have the full lights that are all green. That means the hearing aids are fully charged. It also shows they're connected to my cell phone. So you see the connection there. Um, these are also, this is an iPhone, so I have an iWatch. So it's also connected to my watch. So if I would like to, I can actually go to my watch and make some adjustments on my watch using the Resound app on my watch. So it's showing that all of that is currently paired at this moment. The next tab over says my Resound. On this one, you're gonna find find your hearing aid. So if you did just locate your hearing devices, you can do a map and you can see they're at hearing group here with me. There is a little hot and cold measure that you can use your cell phone to actually get closer to the hearing aids and that's going to make those lines more strong when you get close to your hearing devices. You can view it in map mode or you can actually do the satellite as well. Okay, let's find your phone or find your hearing aids, excuse me. Your tap control feature. Some of the hearing aids now have something called tap control where you can actually answer your phone call by tapping, double tapping on the hearing aid. Some people like that, so I leave it on. If you decide you're not a person that wants to utilize that, you can turn that off on your left and right ear to answer phone calls, but we're gonna leave that on for now. There is learn about the app. So we give a lot of information out on that first visit. So if you forget anything I told you, you can just go learn about the app and that will walk you through any parts of this. Guiding tips, tips for the iPhone, since this is an iPhone. Um, Android app looks very similar to this. It doesn't, it's missing a couple things and adds a couple other things. So I do not have an Android phone hooked up right now, um, but it does, the beginning of this is all the same as the Android phone. Our last tab is the more tab. In here, you're gonna see kind of some legal jargon when you first download the app. Um, the other cool thing they have in here is a activate check my fit. What that actually does is you take a picture of your hearing aid in your ear. It will capture that and kind of show you, make sure you're placing that hearing aid, getting it seated down in your ear canal well, because when it's seated correctly, that's gonna give you the best sound quality. And you can use this for a follow-up visit. If you come back and see me, um, you can show me how you're putting those in your ears just so I can make sure that you're wearing them correctly. Okay, so that is just a quick overview of this Resound Smart 3D app. Wow, that was awesome. Thank you so much, Tracy. That is gonna be so useful for a Resound users that um, download this app. So um, is the app free? Yes, it is free. It is on, if you have an iPhone, it's on your app store. And if you have a Google phone, it'll be on your Play Store. Okay. And is it pretty simple to connect to your hearing aids? Is that something that you do? At I We do that at your initial visit. So okay. we'll ask you to bring your cell phone with you at delivery. So we will get it set up for you initially. But Wonderful. it does walk you through step by step if it does get disconnected or if you need to do it yourself. It'll walk you through step by step to help you get that paired. Wonderful. Wow, that was some great information. Thank you again so very much. So, Will, um, thanks for letting me come in and spend some time with you. I, a lot of people are going to find that uh, very, very helpful. So if you have not subscribed to our channel yet, please do so now. Hit that like button and hit that notification button so that you know whenever we upload new videos. So have a great day, Tracy. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye.